Hi. Now for this next part, we're asked to find the rate at which the mass is increasing at the instant when the mass is 400 grams. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video and as usual come back and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, it's asking us to find the rate at which the mass is increasing. So in other words, we've got to find dm by dt. So therefore, dm by dt, well, I'm assuming that you're familiar with differentiating exponential functions. If you're asked to differentiate, let's say, with respect to x, the function e to the power ax, you should know this result. It is equal to ae to the power ax. Okay, so we're going to draw on that. Okay, here. Obviously, we're not using x, we're using t here. But essentially, if we differentiate this, the constant here stays the same, so that's 250. And if we differentiate e to the power 0.021t, we're going to get 0.021, okay? And then it's going to be e to the power 0.021 and then t. Now, we're asked to find the value of that rate of change when the mass is 400 grams. And so to get that answer, we need to get what t is. But what I do notice with this question is that if I was to substitute m equal to 400, trying to get this value of t, you'll see what actually happens. We don't actually have to physically get that value of t because we can say, therefore, when m equals 400, if we substitute it in that equation, we get 400 equals 250 e to the power 0.021t. Now, I've got 250 e to the 0.01t up here. So we can see that that's going to be 400. So I can say that when m equals 400, we get this equation. I therefore have dm by dt is going to equal, instead of the 250 e to the power 0.21t, I can just write 400. So it's just going to be 400 multiplied by 0.021, which is really uh, nice, as I say, so I don't have to go and find t. So 400 times 0.021, what does that give us? Well, it gives us exactly 8.4, and the units would be grams per hour. All right.